this is not about perfection. It's about a way that creates a more sustainable long-term career. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Stedman. I'm a commercial litigation partner at Hush Blackwell in Milwaukee. I represent small and large businesses pursuing or defending breach of contract claims um, or any general kind of business dispute, even outside of contracts. And on the side, I have become an outspoken advocate for lawyer well-being. And I come at it from a place of being in big law and how to better manage my practice so that I have time to tr at least try to take better care of myself too. So our session, we've put together in the materials 50 tips and we won't make it through all 50 during our session, but these are supposed to be very actionable things that attorneys can try both personally and professionally to improve their well-being. And we have structured it around the SPIRE, S-P-I-R-E method, which is supposed to show you that well-being is more than just mental health. It's your spiritual, physical, intellectual, relational, um, um, and emotional health. And our 50 tips, we tried to come up with a set of tips for each of those topics. So the purpose of this session is to empower you to experiment with some of the tips that we provide. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa because we're different people with different practices with different lives. So we're probably going to overwhelm you with tips that you can go home and try out. And if it works, take it, make it your own, make it habitual. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't feel right to you, toss it out the door. Um, but from here, you will have a set of tools that you can try and hopefully hone down into things that work for you when you're stressed, but also to help prevent things like burnout, stress, anxiety. So most of my tips fall under the intellectual umbrella in our SPIRE acronym of Lawyer Wellbeing or Wellbeing for All Humans. And mine focus a lot on time management. So how to better structure my day so that I am being again more proactive than reactive. So one tip I'll share is time blocking. There are two types of time blocking. One is where a task comes into your email, instead of putting it on your to-do list, you schedule it for the next available time on your calendar. And then when that date and time comes, you stick to it and you get the task done then. That frees up your brain because you know you've recognized the task and you've allotted time in the future. And it makes it more likely that you'll actually get the task done when you've set it on your calendar. The other type of time blocking is blocking your calendar for deep work. So I have segments on my calendar that I block off. It shows me as out of office so that I try not to have any meetings during those windows. I'm not perfect at it. That'll be another big theme of our presentation. This is not about perfection. It's about giving you tools that help you approach the practice in a way that creates a more sustainable long-term career. Sure. So outside of the annual meeting and conference, it's always been my impression that the Wisconsin Solo and Small Farm Conference is the next premier conference for farm members in Wisconsin. Um, and so this will be my second time speaking. It's an honor to speak um, there, um, especially being from a big, big firm. Um, and I would say that a lot of what I do and preach, honestly, applies to big firm attorneys and small and solo firm attorneys. Why? Because ultimately we're participants in a business and thinking entrepreneurially allows us to think more creatively about how we service our clients, 
but also about how we service ourselves and protect our time and our mental health and well-being.